hey, if you're struggling to create geometry off in space because your default planes aren't where you need them to be, I want to show you how you can design anywhere using the construction planes. Let's start with the offset plane. This is one of my favorites. It's the quickest way you can create a plane off in space based on something else. So I select this face. I'll drag out a little bit, put the distance I want, hit enter. I now have a construction plane I can sketch on and create designs on. This is very cool, but let's talk about some of the options that matter. When you go up to construct, you can find a series of different planes that you can create. And I'm going to use offset plane. It's important to note that when you start a brand new design, you get three different planes, the front, top and right. They're over here in the browser and you can see they're labeled as X, Y, X, Z and Y, Z. These three planes are actually infinite. So you can sketch anywhere that would line up with this plane that I'm on. So even though I've selected this plane, I can come over and sketch here because this plane would stretch to reach this. When you create a new plane, there's some interesting things that happen. You're gonna get a construction folder over on the left, and this is where your reference planes will live. These are draggable in the sense of not their location, but their viewable scope. So I can drag these to make viewing them a little bit easier. It's not changing where it sits in space. These are infinite. It's just nice that you can drag them to make viewing them a little bit easier. And you can toggle the visibility. One note, you cannot stretch the original three planes. I'm not sure why. It's just you're kind of stuck with their size. So let's say that you want to create a plane just like this face, but over in the design somewhere. I'll choose offset plane and I can use this face to start with. You can drag it to wherever you'd like it to go. You can type in a value, a distance. You can use just the drag handle or you actually can select any point in space. So if I select this vertex, an interesting thing happens. It's not lining it up with this vertex no matter what. Instead, it's putting it at a distance that happens to line up with that vertex. So if we change this geometry of this model, the plane will continue to stay right here at 198 from this face. But let's say that you do want it to line up with something no matter what. So you can go to this option of two object. And what we can do is select the point that we care about. So this vertex, this can be a vertex on the solid model, or it can be in a sketch point, select it, and it will reference that. And so if I were to scale this model up a little bit, click OK, before the plane happens, the plane will continue to update and reference this vertex. Let's say that we need to create a plane up above our model. I'll use this bottom face as our reference. I'll drag it up above and click OK. Now I can create a sketch up here in space. If I were to create this cylinder running down, this is going to be dynamically linked to our plane, meaning that if I come back to our reference plane and we set that it started up a little bit higher, a little bit lower, no matter what we do, our sketch will update and still reference that construction plane that it was drawn on. So something that comes up in my beginner classes a lot is how do I create a plane right here on this face? And I always ask, why do you need to do that? And they're like, well, I just want to create a sketch right here. Great. You do not need to create a new plane. Just simply come up to create sketch and you can select a face. You can always sketch on faces or planes. Remember that you can use planes as a splitting tool. So if I have this new offset plane just where I want it, this will let us split our part into two pieces. I select the plane. I select the body. I now have two bodies that can be hidden or removed as needed. Hey, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.